Hi, my name is Tim Olaf. I am the Director of Workplace Services with New Vantage Employee Resource. Uh, I just want to provide a, a, a slideshow for you to, today that you can watch to uh, do a couple things to, uh, number one, tell you about the Employee Assistance Program that you now have available to you through the Minnesota Council of Nonprofits. And number two, to uh, profile the services in a way so that you can promote them not only to employees, but also that you are aware of some of the services that exist specifically for you as a manager. An employee assistance program is basically a broad array of services that we package together so that if employees are having personal problems, they can contact us and we can help them get them connected for, with services that are going to that are going to help uh, benefit them. Uh, we believe strongly that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and so we try to make uh, we try to encourage people to use the employee assistance program in a preventive way. So don't wait two years thinking that you can handle things yourself. Go get assistance, and we do that by making uh, you know, it's non medically necessary, meaning someone doesn't have to have a diagnosis in order to make use of the service. There's no copays or deductibles. It's totally confidential, and they can contact us 24 hours a day. So that's important to know just as you promote the employee assistance program features with your employees. In general, you know, why have an employee assistance program? The bottom line is, and you know this as a manager, employees come with their skills, their aptitudes, their abilities, but also their personal idiosyncrasies, their personal issues, uh, sometimes their moody behavior, sometimes, you know, personal problems and those things uh, find their way into the workplace as well. People are whole people and they they are um, first and foremost people and secondly workers and so uh, we have to deal with the people and so an employee assistance program exists to help managers do that and we our desire is to make your job easier. Uh, and then also there have been longitudinal studies that show that there's increased productivity and reduced absenteeism and turnover and uh, workplace accidents and and uh, presenteeism. That's one of the big things that we talk about too. Presenteeism, all, uh, the the counterpart of absenteeism, is people sitting in the workplace and they're present and accounted for, but they're still tremendously unproductive. And they, we find that uh, presenteeism costs employers uh, actually more than absenteeism. So we want to help uh, em employers with those issues. So just very quickly, the the broad array includes mental health, chemical dependency. Uh, you know, work-related stress, depression, anxiety, anything like that, marital counseling. Um, just in general, what we, what we uh, put under the umbrella of behavioral health counseling. Uh, then financial counseling, we are a uh, consumer credit counseling agency. Legal advice, elder care assistance, and then we also have a wellness portal that where people can get all kinds of information. So let me just uh, profile these in just a little bit more detail. When an employee contacts us, they can come in and sit down with a counselor for up to four free sessions of counseling. Most employees get what they need within the context of those four sessions and uh, self-terminate. Um, however, occasionally there are people that may want to come in for, you know, they may it may be a marital issue and it may be long term, and so they may want to come in for a total of eight sessions. What would happen after the four sessions is it would roll onto insurance or be self-pay. But that is the, the vast majority of people get what they need in the context of those four sessions. Now the other thing is that if, if someone comes in, it's each time someone has a unique presenting issue, they can make use of the employee assistance program again. So if an employee contacts us for a marital issue, comes in for four sessions, and then two months down the road, they're dealing with depression because they... Um, because they got divorced, it didn't, maybe it didn't work, or there was, you know, there continues to be some marital strife, that's a unique presenting issue and they can contact us and make use of the employee assistance program again. So each time someone has a unique presenting issue, we want to get them assistance uh, and create a plan with them for kind of the long-term strategy. We can do telephonic sessions. <clears throat> Individuals can um, schedule one with us if they want, but we believe that the cornerstone of, of counseling should be face-to-face -face counseling and so that, that's what we default to. We provide legal consultations. Folks can call and talk with an attorney and get information on any number of legal issues. 
Uh, it's a free 30-minute consultation with the idea that it's going to help people avoid litigation. If indeed someone uh, decides that they do need an attorney to represent them in court for something long term, they would get a discount if they've gone through us. Um, but they, um, but they can at least get the first 30 minutes free, so that hopefully they can determine kind of what course of action they should take. A lot of times, if they can um, have the information on the front end, they can avoid litigation or you know, kind of take care of the issue without something more long term and, and costly. The one area that we do not provide legal consultation on, however, is employment law, because that would be a conflict of interest in the event that an employee wanted to call and say, I want to sue my employer or whatever. Uh, that's the one thing that we do not provide. <clears throat> uh, financial counseling, we're a consumer credit counseling agency, and so we can do any number of, uh, of you know, uh, uh, topical consultations with people on you know budget planning, credit report, debt management, um, pre-bankruptcy counseling, housing foreclosure prevention. Uh, and if need be, folks can get involved with the debt repayment program through us. And a debt repayment program is not to be confused with the debt consolidation company. There are organizations out there that will lend you money, consolidate your debt, but charge you a lot of interest. We, on the other hand, are a nonprofit consumer credit counselor, counseling agency, and we um, we are paid through credit card companies and through grants. So um, we've helped thousands and thousands of people get out of debt. And we also provide financial planning. If folks actually want to contact us and say, you know, look, I've got a Roth IRA, I've got a 401k, what else should I have? How, where should I be at at this particular stage in my life? We can also provide uh, financial uh, assistance, planning assistance. And then if uh, we don't have a, a specific product to sell, if folks said, well, gee, I, I actually want to open a, uh, you know, a brokerage account, then what we would do is the, that um, certified financial planner would refer them someone locally that could actually you know, set them up and provide that service. We provide elder care assistance, so folks that are trying to take care of mom or dad, having a heck of a time doing it. I don't know, you know, the last time I saw mom or dad, they were uh, kind of failing, fridges full of rotting food, but I don't get to see them. They live somewhere else in the country. Uh, we can do research for you, do the legwork, determine what sorts of resources exist, how we can get mom or dad connected, and then do follow-up, kind of, you know, create a strategy and a plan with you, and then um, determine... Uh, how that plan is working when we do follow up and adjust the plan accordingly and help you determine you know, what sorts of funding streams exist for mom or dad. So um, very, be very beneficial. Uh, and then also we have a, an online wellness portal and the, and the wellness portal contains thousands of articles and all kinds of information. What you do is you go to newvantage.org. You'll have to then uh, click on the, the wellness portal a button you'll find and then you'll go to, uh, you'll have to enter the name of your company. And then the password is wellness. And when you get there, this is what you'll see. You can see that where it says health and wellness on the left, um, that is, uh, that's an area where we purchase content uh, that contains thousands of articles about everything from uh, work-related stress to asthma or diverticulitis. You can there's all sorts of health and wellness uh, issues and, and things profiled and information. Legal and financial area is where we've got um, you can actually create an account and log in there. There's uh, financial calculators and legal forms and you can actually start filling something out and save it and come back and complete it later once you've created the account and so that's a, a, a very useful area. And then the managers resource area that contains uh, supervisory resource guide and, and uh, other information that is just generally pertinent to what it's like being a manager and um, resources that we've vetted. And then also you can see down at the bottom are additional online resources, which are links and resources and information of, you know, that we have uh, that we've vetted as well. One of the important things that I mentioned is, is for managers to promote the program. The places where we see the greatest utilization and we have the best, um, uh, the most satisfied customers are those places where managers actually promote the program because managers oftentimes may see employee problems first. An employee comes into the workplace, they are, um, you know, they're 
having a hard time, performance issues, maybe they're moody, they're lacking focus, they're able to go home at night and sort of manage and get by and eat dinner and land on the couch and watch TV. But when they come to work and they're expected to set their you know personal problems aside and be really focused, that's when oftentimes it becomes obvious that there's a personal problem going on. And so that's where managers can be a very um, uh, instrumental in helping employees seek assistance. And sometimes a nudge is all that's required. We've you know seen again and again <clears throat> where employees they know that something isn't right. They know they're lacking focus. They know they're having a hard time. And sometimes all they need is the the word from you know a manager or a friend or someone to say, hey, look, you're not yourself these days. You know, here's a card for the employee assistance program. Make use of it. It's it's you know free and confidential, and you know you might you might you got nothing to lose, so give it a try. <clears throat> what I just described is really kind of an informal referral where you're it's it's your just suggesting that an employee make use of the employee assistance program and, and their performance hasn't been suffering uh, so dramatically. But we also some, sometimes can um, do case management with a formal referral in which an employee has um, had long-term uh, performance problems or they've you know there's been a critical safety violation or you know behavior in the workplace that is unacceptable you know punching a coworker or something like that. In those cases, oftentimes an employer will uh, do a fast a last chance agreement with the employee, and then in that case they can actually um, complete some information and some forms that we can provide to you that it includes a release of information so that we can verify that that employee has contacted us and that they have uh, met with an employee assistance counselor, and then we actually follow them through if the employee assist counselor recommends. Um, you know, chemical dependency treatment, or you know, other things, uh, gambling addiction treatment, or um, anger management. We will follow the employee through that process and just determine are they getting what they need, and then we can let the employer know. We launder the information such that the employer doesn't need to know the nitty, but just knows that they've followed through and that they're getting what they need from the employee assistance program and the in the whole process. If indeed you're going to do that or make that a type of a, a referral. We always talk about getting the human resource involved and talking if you have a human resource department uh, and talking you know through precisely you know what kind of disciplinary component that you want to include with it, um, what that how that fits into your policies and procedures. Uh, and then when we get documentation we like to, to ask people to make sure that it's observable and identifiable and measurable so that you know people don't send us a, uh, an incident report on an individual that says well you know Bob needs to improve his attitude because that may mean a different thing to different people so we try and get very specific things that you know Bob uh, punched a coworker or spit on someone or Bob uh, more likely raised his voice and was screaming at his coworkers on Thursday in that sort of a situation then that's something that the, the therapist the counselor can meet with Bob and and really um, sink their teeth into. They can talk specifically about that behavior and what precipitated it and then make you know referrals and recommendations according to what Bob might need. <clears throat> Lastly, I just want to emphasize that we provide management consultation and that uh, managers sometimes is lonely at the top and uh, you may be scratching your head looking at employee behavior going I don't know I'm working hard to try and understand and to work with these guys but um, and this individual or these individuals are, I'm having a heck of a time trying to figure out how to work with them and I, I don't understand some of the behavioral issues. Uh, you can contact us and we can talk about creating a plan kind of and uh, identifying what types of behaviors are occurring and um, uh, we don't necessarily, we're not the, the one that would be best at identifying you know specific procedures and policies in the workplace or quoting human resource uh, laws but what we do want to help with is sort of the, the personal, the, the individual idiosyncrasy, you know, the, the behaviors that occur. Um, so feel free to make use of that. You can call us anytime at our 800 number, which is 800-577-4727. You should have that on all sorts of uh, promotional materials around the office or workplace. Uh, or you can email us anytime at newvantage at lssmn.org. So thanks so much for watching the uh, supervisory uh, manager training today. 
and please contact us anytime with questions.